but pigeon racing. As a fan of the movie Ghost Dog and the show Game of Thrones, how can you not get excited about messenger birds? All this has led me here, Norman Pigeons, a stable run from generation to generation, known for their birds of great pedigree, bred with the genes of previous champions. On the lawn, I meet the newest member of the family to take the reins of the business, Nicholas. Uh, I'm now the fourth generation of pigeon sport in my family. At the war, they have uh, hide in the pigeons because the Germans also uh, take all the pigeons dead. They want all the pigeons dead because they they uh, doing messages about other war. As we speak, pigeons arrive from a race that began in France. Released all at once, the front runners are finally returning home. When they fly into the coop, a sensor on their leg automatically registers their stats at the timekeeper's table. That leg tag is later retrieved and run through this funky machine for additional info. How did the pigeons make it back? Great sense of smell, sight, and a unique ability to feel the Earth's magnetic lines. They can literally see them. Why did they come back and not just chill in France? Well, I'll tell you that later. The biggest international race, how many birds are participating? Around 20, 25,000. 25,000? Uh, and how far are they flying? They're flying 1,100 kilometers. Wow. Uh, uh, that's so, an international flight. Does Belgium have a reputation for having the best pigeons? They have because here uh, the pigeon sport is, you can say chocolate in Belgium, you can say beer, but you can also say pigeons. It's the, pigeons. It's the unknown member of the big yes, three. Yes, chocolate. Beer, chocolate and, and pigeons. Yeah, you can say. Nicholas leads me up to his office, loaded with accolades and awards, breeding charts and posters of star pigeons. A creature reviled in much of the world, but here, it's glorified. Upstairs, past maps where flight paths are explained, lies the second coup. In here lies the secret of why racing pigeons come back home. For lack of a better word, it's love. As the expression goes, they are played on widowhood. As the current race is coming to an end, I feel like it's time for a cheeky challenge. Still a few pigeons left, a few yeah. stragglers. Some, some have to come. I have an idea while we're waiting. Yeah. You have an eye for talent. I'd like to believe I have an eye for talent. Yeah. How about I pick a pigeon from the stable, you pick a pigeon, and we do a short little race. You'd like to beat me? I would. OK. Loser buys a crate of beer. <laughs> OK. Is it on? Okay. It's on. The deal. All right. Look. Hey, you slacker, gonna get cut. Let's go pick our pigeons out. All right. All right. You can choose. I'm gonna go with hysterical. Yeah? Because it's gonna be hysterical when I win. Okay. I go for the Hulk. The Hulk. Yeah. It's a good choice. It'll be hard, I think. Let's see what happens. Okay. Don't break my pigeon's wing or anything. No, no. That's yours. All right. You ready to do this? Yes. You put a lot of money on this, on this pigeon. A whole crate of beer, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go, hysterical! Come on! Woo! Come on, baby! Come on, hysterical! Kick his ass! There you go. Oh, it's, it's neck and neck, man. Yeah. <laughs> Final stretch. No. Oh, here it comes. Oh, a oh, one backed off. You lose. Wait, let's, let's wait for the final call. Okay. okay, we can wait. But I think you lose. I know my feet. I'm holding on to hope. Yeah. 
And the winner is Hulk down. You can't win them all, but hell, I feel like a winner just to say I raced all-star pigeons in Belgium. I will never look at them the same way again. A deal's a deal. Yeah, to the Hulk. <laughs>